Hey guys, what I thought doing this video is talk about mining, but I want to talk about altcoins, bad altcoins, what many people call shitcoins, shitcoins. So this is what I'm going to talk about in this video. And can I just raise the question whether we should actually be mining them? So if you've been watching my mining videos recently, you'll you'll be up to speed with uh, what I've been mining. I've been mining Equihash 1445 coins mainly and a couple, couple of different Lyra 2Z coins over the last month simply because it's been really warm in the UK. Um, and one of the things I, I kind of I keep focusing on when I'm doing videos about mining, when I'm doing videos about coins is you know I'm looking at the white paper, I'm looking at the website and I'm telling you to read between the lines, I'm telling you to look at what the long-term goals are and I'm telling you to invest in good projects. But, to play devil's advocate with my own opinion, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I am wrong, maybe we should all be mining shit coins. Maybe that's what we should be doing. Um, I must admit, you know, someone came out a few uh, a month or so ago and they left a comment and said that all coins with master nodes are shit coins. Now I don't believe that and there are legit coins that do have master nodes, but Every coin that's coming out right now does have a master node and they are the flavour of the month. Now, I was talking about this other week when I did a live stream about mining and one of the things I'm noticing and it's becoming almost commonplace is that when you go to a new coin that's being launched, you go to their website and the website is telling you the algorithm, the max supply and all that stuff which of course is important but sometimes there isn't a white paper but when there is a white paper and we saw this in the live stream I did last week um, a lot of the times the white paper doesn't actually say what it's about. There was one white paper that I looked at last week and this is a good example of it and, and the white paper was um, it basically was just talking about masternodes and talking about the return that you get. There was no, no mention at all of implementation of how this currency is actually going to be applied in the real world. It wasn't for a specific industry. They just talked about what was wrong with Bitcoin and why their coin was better. But reading between the lines, if you look at the white paper, if you look at the website, there's a lot of emphasis on, um, excuse me, there's a lot of emphasis on the returns, the returns that you as a miner can get. Now, obviously, as a miner, returns are important, but cryptocurrencies shouldn't be designed for miners. They should be designed for general use or for a specific use. And, and I'm seeing this time and time again where coins are being geared and sold to miners rather than having any kind of end purpose and ultimately these are the ones that I think can be classified as shit coins. Um, so I have been, I, I've been mining um, Safecoin the last few days, I was mining Bitcoin Gold for a day or so. Um, I tried Ethereum last night, I tried to get that enlargement pill thing working, it didn't work for some reason but then looking into it a lot of people says that you know, this, it's not really doing much because it rejected his shares. I was talking to another YouTuber called Goose Tech. Um, a lot of you guys know him. I've not actually spoke to him in person yet, but we've, we've chatted in Discord. He's a really nice guy. I'll leave a link to his YouTube channel. He's a really good YouTuber. Um, and we were talking about basically this subject. Um, basically the fact that it's depressing how shit some of the coins are that are out right now. Really, really shit. Um, I got contacted about a coin a couple of days ago and it, you know that and I guess I'm privileged in that regard as a YouTuber you know about cryptocurrency people will come to me and say hey have you heard about this coin um, but this one was basically spam because I asked them a question the person didn't reply I said do you work with the team are you part of the team they were just spamming me um, the coin I won't say what coin it was but they basically the coin came out and they said it's a masternode coin and they said that if you get a masternode, people are breaking even their return on investment, they're breaking it even in about 10 days. Now that is insane. Breaking even from a large investment in 10 days, that to me isn't a good coin. That to me has all the hallmarks of a pyramid scheme where everyone who's in there early gets paid and everyone who's in there late catches it when the price crashes. Um, you know, this, this isn't unique. There's a lot of coins doing this. There was a big, big debate um, in Discord yesterday in the Safecoin uh, community in, in, in the Discord group and we were talking about masternodes and people keep asking about this in the Safecoin Discord but what most of us keep saying is that it shouldn't be scammy. It has to be um, a low return so that people don't basically just jump in, get their return in 10 days and then leave. 
but also high enough, obviously, so that people will actually want to get a master node. I've always been, I've always used Zencash's secure node system as the template to as to how I think other people should be doing it. At least using that as a, uh, as an example of what they should do, rather than breaking even in ten days, getting all your money back in two weeks, and then the people at the other side are screwed. Um, yeah, but someone was talking about it in, in the Discord group, and they were talking about Qantas, and they were talking about another coin, and they said that it was a huge amount of money. And initially, everyone was getting master nodes, but then what happens? Well, it's just like any pyramid scheme or any kind of scam. You know, the 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 house of cards falls down, and that's basically what happens. The the price starts crashing. Um, at the end of the day, what I am trying to get involved in is long, sustainable, good projects that you know that will be there in five years or six years or longer. But, but, again, to play devil's advocate with myself. Maybe we should just be mining shit coins, and that's the thing, guys. It, it, I'm not saying if you can't beat them, join them. What I'm saying is, as a miner, I want to you know invest in long-term projects, projects I believe in. But also as a miner, I want to mine the most profitable coin. I want to get the most from the hardware that I purchased, which wasn't cheap. I want to get the most from my investment. And right now, it seems to be the, the way to do that is to just jump on board with all these other masternode uh, shit coins. Not all of them are shit coins, but I'd say a large majority of them are right now. Um, just jump on board, get your money back in two weeks or three weeks, crash off, use the money and buy another masternode with another coin. Wash, rinse, repeat. Now, I'm not saying that you guys should do that, but what I am saying is that clearly there's a lot of people who are doing that and they are making money. So maybe I've got this whole mining strategy of mine wrong. Maybe I shouldn't be looking at mining coins that are long term good. Maybe I should be just rinsing these crap coins, these shit coins, just getting as much money out of them as possible. You know, buying them, getting a master node, getting my coins, sell the coins, let someone else take a master node. I'll jump on the other coin and with my profits I can buy the coins that I want. Now it doesn't sound like the right thing to do but in many ways there is a kind of method in that madness because you know you're making the most money from your mining rigs and then with your money you can invest in the coins that you want long term now I'm not saying this is what I'm going to do guys um, I'm just thinking out loud here uh, as to what all of us should be doing and this is something I think I'm going to I'm going to have to constantly revisit. This is why with the whole GPU versus ASICs things, you know, I'm like, yes, I am a GPU miner, but I'm never going to just pick a side. I am ultimately just a miner. I'm just someone like anyone else who wants to make money. So I think you do have to have an open mind with these things. I really don't want to go down the route, if I'm honest, of supporting these shit coins because then I think I'm becoming part of the problem rather than part of the solution in a weird way. Um, and you're almost encouraging more scams to, to arise if you keep taking part in them. But there's, there's no doubt that most of these new coins are designed from the ground up. Look at their website, look at the white paper. They are designed to just get money from people and then let the price crash. And then those people, because they're anonymous, uh, and that, again, this comes down to whether uh, you know developers being anonymous is a good thing, but because all these people are anonymous, they can jump back onto Bitcoin Talk the next week, different username, launch a new coin, wash, rinse, repeat. So guys, I'm, I'm not saying I'm doing anything different. I'm still mining safe coin. I'm still looking for good projects to mine and that's what I want to support for myself and promote on this channel. You know, I, I don't want to give exposure to these shit coins, but at the end of the day, I don't want to have my head in the sand either. And people are making money through these, through these crap coins. So consider this, um, this isn't me making a statement. This is me just thinking out loud uh, and I want to hear from you guys I want to hear what you guys think about all of this because if like me and I know a lot of you guys are miners like me if you've been following what's been happening on Bitcoin talk and looking at all the projects that have been coming out see over the last two months or so I would say that a large majority of them are pretty poor and they have no long-term actual goals as to how it will actually be implemented so thanks for watching I always appreciate you guys that tune in and please do leave a comment if you have time so until next time guys, take care.